Today I'm going to be demonstrating the Turtle Headlight Lens Restorer Kit. Um, I'm just going to be doing a real quick job on my own personal car. Uh, I did this on one of my other cars and it worked pretty well. Over here you have a headlight that's really nice, clear. And over here you have a lens that is not so clear. So I'm going to be applying this um, and we shall see how it comes out. The first step that I'm going to do is take this lens clarifying compound and it recommends using like a cotton cotton rag or anything. I just have a paper towel handy so that's what I'm going to use. Just squirt it on and I'm going to just spread it over. I shouldn't get it on the paint but I did so I'll just wipe it off the paint too. This is an older car so I'm not being too careful. And you can see there's a little bit of dirt coming up just from this step alone. I'm doing a circular pattern. I don't know if it really helps or not. But this is what I'm doing. And I might even put a little bit more compound on there. I'm getting a little bit of gray coming up. So I'm going to put a little bit more on there. As my assistant looks on. Yeah, he's a big help. He helps me with a lot of these projects. So, put it on. And now I will take it off. underneath here. I'm trying to buff it off. Mm, it might have helped a little bit, but I can still see kind of a waxy kind of a buildup. Here. So I'm going to go to the next level, which is to use that spray and the little sanding pad that they gave gave me in the kit. And try to clean up around the paint. So the next step is to take the spray lubricant here. And they give you three different color pads, or three or four anyway. I might have lost one, but... Start with the number one, and they say to just spray it on, but I'm going to actually spray the whole thing. And just go over here, and just start with the, the number one because it's the lightest grit. And I'm just going to go over it, and make sure that it stays moist with the spray lubricant. And I'm just going to go over it here and see if that helped improve anything. The goal is to try to get the haze off so the light will shine brighter. Obviously the haze will reduce the effectiveness of any light bulb in there. So if this clears it up enough for your liking then you just kind of stop and um, don't proceed to the next grittier layer but if you want if you want to do more you can go to the next color two and then three but I think I can do a little bit better than this so I'm gonna proceed to the number four or the number two pad actually reading the directions more they apparently they want you to do the number one one direction and then the number two the other other direction but yeah I don't always read these things ahead of time but 
it worked for me the last time and I didn't really follow the directions either but so anyway with this one I'm just gonna go across like this with the number two and then I'm just gonna immediately go to the number three I don't even think I'll bother drying it let's just go right to the number three I'll just add a little bit more spray oh and the number four is actually right on the back of this so For this one I'm gonna go up and down Some garages charge you a lot of money for this. I'm sure they do a better job than I'm doing here, but um, this kit was, wasn't a whole lot of money. I think it was around 10 bucks or something. And I've done, like I said, I'd, I've already done one car. So now I'm switching to the number four pad. I think it's going to be better than I st when I started, so I'll be happy. There. Now if I get a rag, wipe that off. Okay, then the instructions say to dry the lens with a cotton towel, apply the lens clarifying compound and rub thoroughly back and forth until it clarifies. There's even a lens sealing wipe, but I don't know, I've already lost that. So I'm just going to do this. I never aim for perfection, I just aim for good enough. So I'm going to apply this back on. this point and just kind of rub it in and then I'm just going to rub it off and call it good enough. Now if I have any dry spots still left on this rag, paper towel. I should have probably let it dry a little more. I'll do that. Anyway, it's basically just going to let that dry for, for a minute or two and, and then buff it off with a, a clean towel. So we'll just let that sit for a minute and I'll be right back. You can watch it dry, it'll be back in about 30 seconds. Alright, I hope you had fun watching that dry. Um, it's kind of hazy now, so I'm going to try to, with a clean cloth now. I've got more on the car than I did the headlight, I think. But I'm going to kind of clean it up. There's, there's a bug on the inside of this light, I just noticed. This kit won't help get bugs out. Anyway, I think that's that's about it. So 
I think that's a little better than than it was before. Still not perfect, but a little a little cleaner than it was. So again, I'll zoom in here. You can see it. And if we compare that to our other one, as my assistant walks around, this is the other one. So still think this other one's a little sharper, but I'm happy. I think it was worth the, the effort. It does look a little better. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you'd like to see more of my videos.